all right guys this is the around the world spc which is a part of hybrid nations and yeah many people actually recommend finishing this quickly as it's pretty easy to do it's like 10 to 15k give or take how much you spend how much you can snipe for but yeah i spent about 15k inclusive of position modifiers because i don't want to be bothered doing the loyalty glitch i bought a uh, right mid to right wing uh, right back to right wing back and a right sorry a left back to left wing back and this is the squad i used you can also see the prices for which i bought the players not too bad but yeah some of them are a little high i know i could have sniped them but i <laughs> i really wanted to get the video out quickly so yeah that's the squad i used I didn't use it. I didn't need loyalty on all of them, but yes, I did need loyalty on some of them. So, yeah. I think you can see from this how many I had loyalty on. One, two, and yeah, three. I had loyalty on three players, and I used position modifiers for three. So that's how I went around without having to do the loyalty glitch. But I do recommend that you go via the loyalty glitch because it's easier and it's most definitely cheaper so yeah let's just see what we get it's a rare players pack it's a good pack and it's very accessible it's very easy that's why people recommend doing this so yeah let's just hope we get something useful or something that we could sell which would fund our other spcs because we only have 10k left so it's getting pretty hard it's a rare and it's a walkout an English walkout and okay we got the same we got the same walkout again uh, this is the same walkout that we got from the pre-order pack however that was untradeable of course because that's a pre-order pack I'll probably keep him and sell him later I'm not sure probably would because he is going to go up in icon SPCs or player of the month SPCs come out that do require an inform and he's 84 rated so the ratings fairly decent and as for the rest of the pack yeah nothing special I don't see anything special here Bentuka how much you go for not nothing at all alright Mossy man Alright, all fairly decent prices. And he probably goes for 18, 20k. Yeah. Probably 15k. Yeah, he's around 15k. So I'll probably just keep him in the club and yeah. We'll see. If we'll see. We'll go from there. So far, absolutely nothing that could fund our next SPCs. So yeah, I'm going to play a few matches, collect a few more coins, and go about the next SPCs. And hopefully, we get something because we really need a decent pull to be able to do a bunch of SPCs in a row the club's quite barren at the moment let me know if you got anything amazing from this pack because it is a very good pack don't forget to like share and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next part of this hybrid nations video alright guys so this is our elite 8 SPC part from the hybrid nations was it yeah the hybrid nations SPC so we're going to do just one part at a time and yeah I'm just going to go through it quickly it's not very hard to do if you have some of the players in your club it uh, some of these players have loyalty some don't I'm just going to show you everything I bought and didn't buy as well as the prices of each of these cards it wasn't too bad so yeah we're just going to keep doing one at a time the reason we are doing one at a time and recommend doing one part at a time is because you know you might get players from opening each of these packs in order to do the next part of the SPC which will then give you loyalty and also negate the need for you to buy the card so yeah double bonus so let's just see what we get prime gold players back let's see what we get hopefully we get something good it's a rare I don't think it's a board yeah it's not a board 
Fred. Oh wow. Oh wow. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's extinct. I I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But I'm pretty sure he's extinct. Let's just see. Uh, this is PS4. So yeah, I think he's extinct. Mukele, I think I think he has a decent value. Let me just check Fred's price. All right, so he's about forty-seven, forty-six. Okay, so forty-five k. I don't know whether he's going to still go up. I'll decide later. But so far, so good. Yeah, that that was a good pull. And how much does Mukele go for? Yeah, that's a decent price. I might actually sell him or. I don't know whether I c- I c- I'll keep him. I don't really know because I did play Crossman as well, and Mukiel, and they are uh, they have a green link. I don't know whether I should use them or just cash in. I really don't know. Either way, let's let's see. I'll keep him for now and decide later. And yeah, if I do in fact sell Fre- uh, Fred, that's going to be a fair amount of coins for the rest of the packs. So yeah, catch you in the next pack. All right, guys. The final four SPC part of Hybrid Nations. So I completed them mostly with cards in my club. I did buy a few. So yeah, I just used La Liga strikers and a CM. Probably should have used a cam for more chemistry, but I didn't want to buy one. And uh, Spanish right mid. All of these are Spanish because you can have only four nationalities here. All of these are Spanish to bring in a lot of green links. I went for the Mexican league. left mid center mid center back and i should have got another center back but i had a right back in the club and i really didn't want to buy one more but yeah if you do use a center back of course you will get uh, a lot higher chemistry over there i just bought a random bronze cm who's rare just f- to fill up the last rare player It can be of literally any nation other than these three that spanish mexican and argentinian And yeah, for the goalkeeper and the centre back over here, I went for Serie Argentina. So yeah, let me just show you the players that I used. I recommend using only players in your club because, well, for one, they're going to have loyalty, and secondly, it's going to make your SPC a lot more doable. But yeah, just go the way I did. Four from one nation from one league, four from one nation from the other league, and in one final spot, just throw anyone in there. who is a not not a part of these nations obviously to get the fourth nation and that's a very easy way to complete this as we see it's no big deal at all quite an easy one so yeah let's just see what we get electrum players pack this isn't a rare electrum or prime electrum or any such thing so they usually aren't very good but yeah let's just see what we get hopefully something you never know electrum players pack has anyone ever gotten something from this pack let me know Yeah, it's not even a rare as expected. All right. Any good silvers or bronzes here that could sell? That would be nice. Anything? Galos, yeah. I don't think he goes for much, obviously. Yeah. He doesn't sell. Hmm. Does he sell? He does. All right. Oh, he's from. Bundesliga, all right. We'll keep him for now. Does he sell? He probably does. Yeah, I'll sell him away. Japanese Japanese league CF very weird position. Probably doesn't sell. Or does he? You see, f- when I make a statement like that and I'm completely wrong, <laughs> yeah, he is going to sell obviously. All right. Go away. Portuguese league. All right, th- these guys sell. Okay, it's pretty decent, pretty decent, pretty decent for an electron pack. But it would would have been nice to get a cheeky Saint Maximin or something like that in here, you know. Yeah, I didn't really expect him to sell for much. He's a Polish goalkeeper. So yeah. Let's just see what we get from the next SPC part. Hopefully, you guys got a better pull from me from this electrum pack. All right, guys. This is our final part for 
the hybrid nations SPC six of the best so let's just see how we've done it so yeah I think it's pretty obvious Serie A three Italians Premier League three English players and for the whole back line I just went for Bundesliga and I made sure there are only two Germans I could have got 100 chemistry if I used a German center back but I just didn't want to spend more coins that's all but if you want 100 chemistry yeah you can do that that's going to be pretty easy overall this was very cheap and if you want to copy this exactly I'll show you the players I don't recommend it Greenwood is probably a bit inflated not too worth it you can probably get cheaper right right mids from the English league either way I'm just going to show you what I spent the players I bought some are first owner I didn't really spend all that much Alright, so yeah this is the final part and we will be getting one bonus pack at the end of this for completing the whole group so that's hybrid nations completed I do recommend doing hybrid nations first before the the other advanced SPCs because to be honest it's very easy it's a very very easy it's quite quite easy to get these packs and who knows you might pack something that will fund you more than enough to build a team as well as complete the other advanced SPCs you never know so yeah I'm just going to go from smallest to biggest as usual and we'll just see what we get hopefully something nice because this did take a while to complete that's a rare that's not a board alright Kedira wow he's been nerfed like crazy alright Does he go for anything? No, he doesn't. Of course not. Alright. I'm just going to keep the rest of these cards. Well, because none of them are usable. And obviously, I'm just going to keep them for SBC fodder for the other advanced SBCs. Oh, I can't even talk right now. Alright. This is what we're here for. This was the point of the whole group. The rare mega pack. Hopefully, we get something very useful that we could sell from this. So that's not a walkout alright who's this brand alright I don't know how much he goes for but that's a decent rating hopefully there's something behind him that can be sold for a decent amount I really hope so because it's a fairly big pack it's a 50k pack if I'm not mistaken alright nothing much there Oh, he he goes for 10k. I might sell him. I don't know. Vela, how much does he go for? Mm, pretty decent. I'll probably sell him as well. Not too sure. McTominay, not very good pace. But just because he's from United, anything? Nope. Alright. So basically, all of these are fodder, if I'm not mistaken. Daka, what's your weak foot and skill mode? 3 3, so he's probably not going to sell him. Oh, Foster, Foster, do you sell? weird league yeah he's not going to sell Brendan Rogers we list him up shadow how much do these go for I, I know they're pretty common now but uh, they're probably going to go up during the first weekend league anchors as well camp to CF are most probably going to go up as well because they're going to be very useful for a lot of SBCs especially the icon SBCs or any player of the month SBCs for that matter because you're going to have to switch positions in order to get chemistry so yeah mm, this bad sells not bad the advantage of you know starting the game early in the early because you can sell these things should I probably list them up for a day yeah all of these are going to sell a cheeky 3000 coins there alright yeah decent pack nothing nothing of extreme value but overall pretty decent and yeah I don't don't forget to like share and subscribe definitely let me know if you got something amazing from this pack I know a lot of people who have got amazing things from this pack one of my friends packed Del Piero from this pack so yeah you can imagine there have been some amazing pulls let me know if you got something don't forget to like share and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video